Opposing a central city closure, Region Theatre Director Sarah Anderson is making a case against the proposed blocking off of the Octagon next weekend. Many local hospitality providers support the two-take closure, but Anderson says more discussion is needed. We don't want to be fighting or competing with our neighbours. We quite mm. like them. Um, we like the city as a whole and our, our um, decision to um, challenge this closure has been about the the way that these decisions are made and how the city as a whole manages the implications of these major events in our city. Both the All Blacks Wales test match and a showing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show are set down for Saturday night. The Dunedin City Council was proposing to close off the Octagon area to keep an anticipated large number of patrons enclosed within. The roadblock would also allow premises to expand out further, allowing more people to fit inside and bolster business. I do think that um you know, it is important that we acknowledge that this is um, not just for the hospitality sector, but for the city. This is um, the biggest event uh, on the calendar. Theatre staff oppose the closure, saying the decision is poorly informed and with no clear communication between stakeholders. They believe the show and test match complement each other well, giving residents options on what to do on Saturday night. But they say the problem lies in closing the area without discussion. Our problem is not at all with the, this closure of the octagon for this event. Our problem is wholly with the, a step back from that, which is that we believe that the octagon is our primary public space, is the centre of our city, and we need to be clear as a city what we want that to be like. The DCC plan to block traffic from George Street, Stewart Street and Princes Street from early Friday morning until Sunday morning. A decision on whether that will go ahead or not will be made on Monday during an extraordinary council meeting. Annabelle Dick, 39, Dunedin News.